Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Apa King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. What's up with everybody today, man? I'm feeling good, you know, chilling. Playing Call of Duty with a few subs, friends, whatever you want to call them. I just call them people that's on my friends list. <laughs> but um, basically, I want to come out with a video, you know, about frequently asked questions to me on a day-to-day -day basis. Things that people just, you know, bombard my comment section, my inbox my twitter feed my facebook fan page with all the questions that they want to know about me and what's going on with me um basically i just want to get it started like this with the whole youtube setup which is like my background my banners my intros and all of that basically my background logo and banner was made by fuse panics that's um one of the members and one of the people that actually owns uh fuse you know they're like a how can you say one of those type of companies that do backgrounds and stuff for people on YouTube? I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, basically, I did pay for everything. I paid for my background, I paid for my logo, and I paid for my banner. So you know, it's it wasn't free. I'm just letting everybody know that now. Now my intro, my Superman intro. Everybody is always asking me who made that intro, and the person that made it is kind of funny. His name is funny. Don't laugh. It's called Tits McGee. Um, <laughs> all the links will be in the description. Um, also, the crisis intros with uh, the different gameplay logos that I have in the middle of the spinning circle. That that actual uh, intro was made by Trooper FX. Uh, I know you guys probably know him. He's he's one of the guys that uh, well, not one of the guys, but the guy that made FPS Russia's current uh, intro. So you know, I just grabbed one of his templates and and kind of made it my own. Now, um, my gaming setup and accounts. Everybody only have one username for every gaming system, which is of course PS3 and Xbox. And my gamer tag is iPod King Carter. It's nothing else. It's not anything different. I only have one name for everything I own. So it's, if you want to check out anything, it's iPod King Carter. Now, uh, my gaming setup. Uh, a lot of people say they use HDMI cords and things like that. Me, I personally don't use HDMI cords. I use component cables. For both of my systems even the ps3 also i use wireless controllers for both my systems i don't use the joints with the cords and nothing like that and um i use my triton ax 720s that's my game headset now um the next thing i'm gonna grab and just jump right into it my recording equipment and setup now i have a 42 inch vizio hd tv i have components like i said before um the computer that i use is a toshiba laptop uh I got Windows 7 Home Premium, I got a 64-bit operating system, I got 4 gigs of RAM, and I got an Intel Pentium processor P6100. It has 3 megabytes of catch and it's 2 gigahertz. Now, um, I have a Hopog HD PVR. Um, I only play on 1080i resolution. So I, I'm letting you guys know now, and if you have an HD PVR, you can only play on 1080i, you can't play on 1080p. So if you got your settings mixed up, change them now. <laughs> um, the bitrate that I chose for my Hopog is 13.5, and I save in only one file type. I don't save in MP4s. I save in M2TS. All right. Now, the headset that I use when I'm recording is the same as my it's the same as my gaming headset. The same exact um, joint. It's my Triton AX720. And I guess you could say that they got Adobe Digital Surround Sound, I guess, and they, they both made for the Xbox 360 and PS3. Now, the next thing is my video and audio editing softwares. I only use ArcSoft Total Media Extreme to actually capture my videos with my hot pod. I use Sony Vegas Pro 11, yes, I upgraded to 11, to actually edit and cut up my videos. Which means I do all of my hard editing, transitioning, watermarks, thumbnails, audio, everything in Sony Vegas. And what I do is when I record my audio from me to my videos, I actually render a video from Sony Vegas Pro 11 and then take it into PowerDirector 9 and then actually commentate over it. And then take the audio from that I recorded from PowerDirector 9 and take it back into Sony Vegas. Make sure all of my levels are right and then I re-render the video. 
Now, the only reason I do that is because Sony Vegas, everybody already knows how laggy the actual uh, video playback is. So that's why I use PowerDirector 9. No, I do not use PowerDirector 9 to edit any of my videos. I have never done that ever. Like, <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know. Also, to screen capture certain footage that I need and that I want, I use Camtasia Studio 7. Now, all these things you can Google. You can most likely download from somewhere. You can purchase, do whatever you want. But that's just my setup. Now, let me hop into basketball. I know I'm on Call of Duty right now, but I'm going to hop into some basketball. My current my player, which is my athletic point guard. His jump shot is Stephen Curry. His free throw is currently Kevin Durant. My dunk package is right now is athletic guard. I haven't actually purchased the package yet. Um, if any of you guys want to know the crossovers, they're the best of his ability. So whatever the actual, you know, dribble abilities was when I first started my mod player, because I haven't upgraded any of his dribble abilities, he has the maxed out abilities in those packages. Now, let me hop into Call of Duty. I'm sorry, I, I, know, I don't know why I didn't start off with Call of Duty first, but the games that I play are Kill Confirm and Domination. I, I, I don't play Team Deathmatch that much. Uh, I don't really play too much Search and Destroy. You know, I don't play those game modes too much, but Domination and Kill Confirmed, that's where I live at. Um, my weapon of choice is what I'm playing with right now, the ACR. My uh, secondary choice is, of course, the Overpower FMG9s. Uh, I'm always running a support package, seeing as though that people are always, and I mean always, making kill streaks for themselves they don't want to help the team out they don't even have a uav up or none of that so what i do is i bring out the uav the advanced uav and of course the stealth bomber sometimes i might bring in an escort airdrop but sometimes i don't feel like waiting for it for too long so i just bring out the stealth bomber just like i'm doing right now <laughs> um now uh what else do, do you guys always ask me um a lot of people have been asking me about the real nba lately and 2k12 and with the roster updates and all of that i really don't have too much more information on that seeing as though you know we're still waiting for a roster update from 2k because uh all the free agent sign is a few more of the rookies is trying to get into the uh the nba before the season actually starts so we're still waiting on that as well um also when i'm gaming on the xbox and i i think i might you know send out a few messages to a few people online some people told me, you know, make a bulletin on YouTube. I'm not I'm not even sure if that works. So, if you guys re really read my bulletins on YouTube and just let me just let me know, you know, see if it works because I really don't know if it works, you know, putting out a bulletin then you get all these requests on if somebody wants to play. You know, I'll game with anybody, you know, when I'm, and also when I'm in a party and you just bombard the party and it's not even my party, just just exit yourself because, you know, I don't want you guys to be getting kicked on my part you know i'm because uh, me i bombard a party myself you know but you know when you guys do it and you're on my friends list and then you jump in a party and they be like yo who is that and you don't say nothing they're gonna end up kicking you because it's not my party you know so when i start up a party and you guys just join in that's cool with me but if it's not my party please don't do that um what else i got on my on my agenda man because the game is coming to a slight and you know the victory music has already played for us and we're winning so <laughs> um also um oh midnight club i know a lot of people have been asking me am i still going to be doing midnight club i have about five videos more that i want to do and i'm also still waiting for somebody to actually make my dream car um nobody still has even taken on the challenge of making me a car in midnight club for ps3 so i'm still waiting on that as well um i will be getting saints row the third real soon most likely after christmas just saying as though you know i got a lot of things on my plate and i don't have too much spare time to be playing that game so i didn't even grab it um also another big thing uh this is this is like this is like the uh, this is the thing of all things. Um, if you missed anything in this video, if you're still here, um, I actually do have a frequently asked link. Um, it will be in the description. It's to my Tumblr. Um, I'm, I'm really new to Tumblr. I had it for a while, but I used to just post videos to it. But now I'm actually starting to post pictures, uh, text, actual blogs, thoughts, and all of that. So, you know, hit me up on Tumblr. 
The link will be in the description, you know. Also, hit me up on Twitter, man. Um, if you hit me up on Twitter, you're guaranteed to get tweeted back. Um, you can retweet all day if you want. <laughs> I don't care, but uh, I do respond on my Twitter. Um, what else, man? Before we get out of here, uh, oh. Just to let y'all know, I am not the best Call of Duty player in the world. I don't claim to be, like I said before. So, listen, if I'm doing bad, it's not my fault. I tried. Shit. What do you want me to do? I tried. Like, so, you know, if you want to see Beastly gameplay, listen, pray for me. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, but it was fun playing with these guys. You know, it, we're, all, we're all the ones in the gold real quick. Um, also, another frequently asked question. Um, do you know Jalo Beats? Uh, yeah, um, we're from the same city. You know, I met him a few times. He's a cool guy, you know, um, and I'm currently using this beat. So I'm going to highlight you guys. Um, shout out to Game Face Studios, as everybody already knows.